Today I'm making one of your houses again. This time it's a house for four sims. It has no pets. It's on a 30 by 30 lot. The budget is below 50k. The style is prairie, which I didn't know what it was, so I looked it up. It's somewhere in the range of uh, modern and contemporary style homes. And I actually quite liked it. Um, apparently these homes have a very flat roof with a big overhang and are very straight lines, very boxy and yeah, I, I like building in this style of home so uh, I was uh, pleasantly surprised by this the color palette is a black and white and what packs I can use is the base game with one or two other randomly picked packs I went for the seasons pack and for ego lifestyle so it's a base game, season, eco lifestyle. I use seasons because these columns I'm just placing right now, I really wanted to use them because they were perfect for this build. And eco lifestyle because I chose a very big floor plan for this, uh, this house. And I reckoned I <laughs> needed to use some very cheap furniture and that's where Eco Lifestyle comes in. Also, I just like Eco Lifestyle. It's a, it's a really, really pretty pack if you like to uh, build stuff in The Sims. I don't recommend it for gameplay though. Those, uh, those never at action plans are not, 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 not the greatest. I found a floor plan on floorplans.com. Uh, I, uh, I often find floor plans there. And usually I just take some inspiration from, from it. This time I actually copied this uh, this floor plan as far as I could. I mean, it's still the same, so you can't perfectly copy it. I had a little bit of trouble with the roof. Here I'm trying platforms, but it just didn't have the right shape to it. It really needed an overhang and a platform couldn't provide that. So I'm using lots of roof pieces. It comes together in the end. I know it looks like a bit of a mess. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I made it really dark, a really dark roof tile and just now trying to figure out which one I like the best. I'm using a dark roof trim just to make it uh, make it look nice. And as you see, I have, I have overhang everywhere. Maybe I'll even add some more in the end. Um, the outside of the house is a dark brick and white plaster. I thought the contrast looked really nice and it kept within the color sch scheme of being black and white. And it just uh, made it look a little more interesting. The four sims that live here, here in my head were a single parent with her three kids so there are four bedrooms and two bathrooms in this house which is a lot for a 50k home so there is room to expand if you uh, choose to uh, download this uh, this home you can it's on the uh, on the gallery my username there is Tara Watson no space you can have your sim just work their way up and upgrade the appliances and the buy more stuff for for your sims this part is the uh, garage um uh you i place two debug cars in there but you can also always delete them and put big items in there like the cupcake machine or whatever else hobby your sim has also the balcony uh, on top i think it looks really nice but i didn't have any money in the end to actually put furniture on that but that would be perfect for a uh, observatory for example um, like you see I'm using platforms here I haven't used platforms in a while because they are so buggy but in this case I wanted to use them because now it looks like the whole house is a bit higher up than the garage and I thought that uh, that looked nice and in the end it wasn't that buggy anymore. I think uh, the last couple of updates they fixed it a bit. So uh, yeah, that, uh, that was a pleasant surprise. I'm using train paint outside because it's free. And I wanted to use a tiny, tiny fountain in the front because it just, it looks so pretty. And some plants here in front. I think I've used way too much money on the outside, but at least the outside looks good. Uh, the inside i think it looks good too but it could use a little bit more furniture and placing those tiny saucers everywhere but because they're just always perfect here i <laughs> am struggling with the 
with the platforms and I figured it out in the end. And the, the trick is to make a room of the place you want to have a platform. Not just place the platforms there. Just make a room, raise it up, delete the walls. That, that's the way you want to do it. I think, yeah, I figured it out here. <laughs> just raised one room up twi twice and one uh, up once. And your sims can just walk on it just fine. And I'm placing grey wallpaper everywhere to keep within the black and white theme. I thought that looked uh, looked nice. And I'm placing these wooden floors from Eco Lifestyle. I think they are so pretty. They are the prettiest floors in the game. And I wanted a nice trim around the platforms, but not too big. So I went for the uh, dark wooden one. I think that uh, that looks nice. Yeah, uh, big door towards the study. And I'm using a lot of base game, small doors towards uh, all the other rooms in the house. Uh, the master bedroom is downstairs, but you can always make that in a, a toddler room. Uh, this house would be perfect if you are playing the 100 baby challenge for example. Because you can just place the toddlers downstairs and there are three bedrooms upstairs. So for your uh, children and, uh, and the matriarch. And this... Uh, this will be the living room and the way the platform works it accidentally came out so nice it just went straight over into the, the platform to, uh, towards the uh, back door and I thought I, I never meant for it to look this nice <laughs> just, it just happened sometimes it does it, uh, it really surprised me how nice it looked some uh, nice base game counters and uh, the cheapest fridge and uh, not the cheapest, the second cheapest fr fridge and stove. I am gonna place some clutter in here, but not a lot because I don't have that much money. This table and chairs are from Eco Lifestyle, they are from the debug menu. They are actually meant to be fabricated by a sim, but I thought they just looked really nice and they weren't that expensive. Here is a half bathroom. And this is the master bedroom. The master bedroom only has a bed, nothing more. But they do have a really, really big ensuite, which is a, a really big bathroom. And this is the walk-in closet. I didn't have enough bags and money to make it actually look really nice, but the idea is is there. So uh, yeah, that's the house is a work of progress, but the bones are here. If you wanna wanna play with it, if you want to improve it, if you don't like anything about the bills, of course. You can always change whatever you want. You can, uh, if, if you want to download my builds and uh, renovate them and make a video about it, I'm totally okay with it. Just take uh, give credit where credit is due, of course, like you always should, like I always try to do. This is the ensuite. I'm placing a little bit of clutter on here. It's uh, it's not much because I don't have that much money. <laughs> I all was already. Uh, through uh, I th it is only 10,000 Simodians left and I still had to do the entire upstairs. Um, there is a little room on the left that is just uh, just the open place for uh, Sims to, uh, to relax and I will place a couch there. This is the bathroom for the children upstairs. It, it's really really simple just a bath toilet and a sink. There are and uh, there is one shower downstairs. And now I'm just placing down the essentials that we absolutely need. This is uh, two kids bedrooms and a toddler bedroom. I really like that eco lifestyle bed by the way. It's uh, it's so so cute. Placing a little bit of clutter and of course the giant dollhouses which just fill up the room so nicely. This child is a bit more autistic in my mind so it's got a, a drawing table. Um, as you see it's a bit dark in here, if I had more money I would have placed more lamps everywhere, but I uh, just uh, need to do. This is a toddler room, it's uh, very very pink, I just thought that uh, that looked nice and I mean the theme of the house is black and white, but I don't think you should ever make a kids room black and white. That's, uh, Kids don't really like that, they like colors, they like bright colors, so, uh, and so do I by the way. <laughs> So I make those uh, kids room more colorful. Here's the couch and the uh, coffee table. 
sadly I had to delete the coffee table because I forgot a trash can. You won't see me place a trash can in the speed build but you'll see it during the screenshots. I will uh, add one. This is the office uh, and there is a computer in this house like I always try to do. And I, it, it's a really, really big office. <laughs> you can also make it a hobby room, of course. And now I'm looking for some cheap decorations. Uh, Seasons actually has those stickers for on the walls. Those, uh, I thought they looked uh, looked really cute. You saw me placing those hearts in the in the study room. Here in the entryway, there's a coat track and some plants. Oh, and here I'm going wild with the stickers. I think they look so cute. And of course, if you say makes more money in time, you can replace them with actual paintings. But for now, they just provide a, a pop of color in the very, uh, very muted house. I'm trying to find something to cover the windows with, but because there are half the wall height is half walls, and not the lowest uh, wall height, they uh, they don't fit. So I'm using a few blinds in here, put the cars and. Uh, oh yeah, a uh, woodworking table in here just to uh, have an extra skill with an item which is always nice. It ups your the handiness of your uh, sims and when stuff breaks that's always really really nice to have. I'm deleting the flooring in here and placing some terrain paint just to... Uh, I'm trying to scrounge up as much money as I can because I really wanted to decorate some more like you see I only have 270 simoleons left it's it's not that, uh, that much oh I also had to delete that uh, the table I placed in the back <laughs> because I didn't I uh, I didn't have enough money for the trash cans I am using a bit of debug landscaping just to have some make it uh, make it look like nice it's uh, it's absolutely free and some might consider it cheating but uh, i i just went for it this house needed uh, some landscaping it uh, yeah uh, all, otherwise it would look very very barren so here i uh, i just go wild with the uh, with the plants I really liked building a, a home in this style. I never heard of the style. And if you still want to join in, you can. The form is linked in the description box. So please be creative and ask me to build something nice. And here are the screenshots. I hope you liked this build. If you did, please press a like. I post new Sims 4 videos every day. So feel free to subscribe and hit the bell so you'll never miss another video and i hope to see you tomorrow bye bye